Hey there, Nancy Marmalejo here from TAG, the intersection of talent and genius. That's me on the screen, and I want to share with you one of my favorite market research tools. And it's all about leveraging tens of thousands of dollars of research that other companies have done to help you zero in on your ideal client, learn about market research, and pick up some valuable information that can help you get more clients and message your business in a more powerful way. And what we're going to do is go to a couple of different magazines, three different magazines that serve three different in, uh, audiences, and we're going to look for something called the Media Kit. Now the Media Kit is found way, way usually down at the bottom of a website. You just have to completely forage for this thing. It's usually in tiny little letters. And if you look at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you might even not see it. In tiny letters over here, it says advertise. Sometimes it says media kit. And you, or it might say advertise with us, media kit. Click on that and you are opening the doors to an absolute gold mine in market research. And this is so cool and a lot of people don't know about it. But it's a really good tool to use if you are number one, um, if you know who your ideal client is and you know that they read these kinds of magazines, it's going to give you some psychographic and demographic insights into those people. Psychographic is the psychological aspect of your ideal client, what makes them tick. Demographic is the more measurable quantitative things like age, gender, income, uh, information like that. I get ideas for content when I look through here. And also, if you're um, looking to pitch the media, this also gives you insight into the types of information that they're looking for. So there are a bazillion different ways that you can benefit from this. I'm sitting here on the Fast Company Media Kit page. Fast Company is a business magazine that's about innovation. You learn a lot just by going to their About page with their Media Kit. They'll tell you who they are the most progressive business media brand in the world. That's how they call themselves. And they use words like innovative and thought leader and future and really, really, um, you know, forward thinking. What's really cool is that they tell you what their editorial focus is. Now, let's say you have, uh, you know, the, you have no idea what to write on your blog one day and your ideal client matches them. Look at these uh, focus areas as inspiration to, for you to write some articles. They talk about creativity, design, leadership, ethanomics, which is the innovation for good, and technology. So you can get some really good ideas for content and direction. You know, they're talking about leadership, design, creativity, I mean, all these great things. You can also learn about the audience. I love this part. What I like about Fast Company's Media Kit is they use um, a nice blend of psychographic, which once again is the psychological triggers, what makes the peop uh, your ideal client tick, and the demographic information. So they have opinion leaders, business influencers, and affluent customers. You see that those are three different phrases that they use to describe their ideal client. So now let me back up just a second here if I haven't mentioned it already. Um, these media kits are created for advertisers. So that way if you sell cars or if you sell refrigerators or if you sell consulting services and you want to advertise in this magazine, you have an idea whether this is a good match for you or not. So taking a look at Fast Company, their rate base, 725,000 people, that must be their readership. 66% are men, 34% are women, their median age is 45, and they give you some really, really cool um, markers as far as what they deliver and who the people are that are reading this magazine. Affluence, influence, 33% um, have C-level job responsibility. 
65% are business decision makers. Um, they're also passionate readers. So you get some really cool information on there. So once again, whether you're looking to have greater insight into this market, if it's your ideal market, or if maybe you want to start writing to this market and you want to know what people are looking at, or even if you want to grab some stats and reference them in some content that you're creating. And of course, you can also download their media kit. There's a little option for that if you want to get it as a PDF. Once again, you go to that first page of their site and you scroll way the heck down to the bottom. It's in tiny little font in this gray, gray font that you can hardly even see. <laughs> it's not easy, but once you find it, it's an absolute gold mine. All right, we're going to pop over to a completely different site. This is called Real Simple Life Made Easier. And I just picked this one because I had a subscription to Real Simple that was given to me as a gift. It's a cool little magazine and I decided to check out their page to see if I could get some great information on media kits from them and I loved what I found here. Now these of course are not the only game in town. You go and look for the media kits for, for any kind of, of media outlet that services your audience, your ideal client. So let's say you're a life coach. Real Simple is a great, great audience for life coaches because they're really talking about life issues. Uh, Fast Company, of course, is more business oriented. All right, watch what we're going to do. We're going to scroll, once again, way, way down, all the way to the bottom. And at the bottom of the page, there are just a bazillion little things here. What, where in the heck is it? All right, here we go. Under customer service, like almost the last one, you see Media Kit. Okay, is this easy to find? No, but now that you know what you're looking for, it's easy to find. Click on Media Kit, and this one rocks. It's really pretty. They've got some really nice pictures, and they tell you their mission statement. And I love this because it's a really good example of talking about your business. Their first line is really what it's all about. They say, Real Simple exists to do the thinking for modern women. Well, there's a lot of really good information there on what their readers turn to them for. And you can get some information about who their readers are and what they're interested in if you look at some of the different options. Like for example, well let's see, they have brand buzz. Um, they tell you a little bit of stats about themselves and their brand and some of the research that they've done. So for example, um, they were the first magazine brand to reach 100,000 followers on Pinterest. Well, that's really interesting. So you think about Pinterest and who's on Pinterest. It's mostly women. This is a magazine that's talking about life made simple. So maybe you're a person who helps people make life simple. Do you need to be on Pinterest? Well, according to this, it would be a really good place to be. So you're getting some good market research, especially if you're wondering, gosh, should I be on Pinterest or not? Um, they have a couple of different options here, marketing opportunities, contact information, of course, like the other ones, you can download the media kit as a PDF. Uh, taking a look at their print audience, I love this stuff. Okay, 90% uh, of the print readers are women, 10% are men, median age, 46.3% and 62% of them are 25 to 54. So, you know, that a, a, that adult, they may be there in the, that, that stage where people are, you know, getting married or making, you know, getting into midlife or the stage in life where you're making lots of decisions and you've got a lot going on with career and family and what have you. So they've got, you know, they've got a really good idea of who their audience is. Uh, when you see the letters HHI, as you can see here, median HHI, HHI 75K plus, that stands for household income. And another interesting thing is college educated, 82% of their readers are college educated. So that can influence the way that you write, some of the topics, the length of your articles, it can influence a lot. So you also see if people have kids, if they're married, professional managerial, if they're employed, 77% of them own a home. So these are folks who have some disposable income, but, they're, but they want to make good choices about it. So you get that information from looking at this uh, real simple. So we took a look at Fast Company, right? business, innovation, thought leaders, 
taking a look at Real Simple. It's about, you know, basically unhook me from all that innovation, simplify my life. This other one was an absolute gold mine. This is uh, Condé Nast, and Condé Nast brands are always associated with more of a high-end brand. There's luxury brands. And if you go to the Condé Nast website, they don't make it so hard on you because they are a big vehicle for um, high-end uh, products, you know, luxury cars, luxury items, and they're not going to bury it at the bottom in a, in a two-point font. They're going to put it right up here. And as soon as you mouse over that, you see all of their different brands that they have, and you'll find the media kit for all of those. So if you think your ideal client is more likely to read The New Yorker, and if your services are for that type of person, then look at The New Yorker. Or maybe you're in um, fitness and self-improvement. Let's see what Self Magazine has. Once you are looking at this, you can find out a little bit more about their stats. They give you some options for print, for web, for tablet. And you get some ideas about their circulation, the total audience, the median age, the median household income, the gender, college education, whether they're employed, a lot of great information that you can find out through looking at any of these. So this is one of my favorite ninja workarounds to learn about marketing, market research, who's out there, what are their concerns, and to tap into tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, of market research that these lovely media outlets plunk their money down for. You don't have to pay a dime, but you can go and access this information for free and learn all about who their audience is. And if that audience parallels the audience that you serve, then that's some great information. And as I mentioned, if you want to pitch the media or pitch yourself as a resource, this is a great way to find out the topics that they're writing about and get some ideas on how to nose your way into that world. So the media kit is an absolute gold mine that can help your marketing in so many different ways. Uh, there are certainly more magazines than these, than these three brands that I just covered. I encourage you to get out there, do some searching online, and remember, scroll way the heck down to the bottom of the page because that's where the gold is. My name is Nancy Marmalejo. I'm the founder of TAG, the intersection of talent and genius, and you can find me at talentandgenius.com where, in addition to a gold mine of tips, you can also sign up for Get Paid to Be You right from my homepage. It's a great training that teaches you how to find the unique intersection of your talent and genius and how to put that to work in your business. I'm excited that I got to share this with you. I usually just share this with my clients. I've decided to just tell you everybody about it because it's such a cool way to, to learn about your market. Thanks so much for listening and tag your it.